I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa, a degenerative retinal condition, when I was five years old. I've always been adamant that RP will not define me, and so I've spent a lot of time hiding and pretending that I can see just fine. So I ended up really isolating myself, ignoring people's hands when they reached out to shake my hand because I didn't see them, running into signs and poles and tripping over curbs because I was too proud to use my cane, and stumbling through restaurants especially. There was this one time when my husband and I were first married and we were on this road trip and I had to use the bathroom. So my husband pulled over to this little tavern type diner and I ran inside and on my way out of the bathroom, walking through the hallway of the restaurant, I tripped over a stool and fell on the floor and I remember looking up at the ceiling and feeling completely embarrassed. And then this woman working there who I think might have been the manager came over and was standing over me and she just kind of had this tone as if she had her hands on her hips and said, young lady, have you been drinking? And I was completely sober and I was completely ashamed. Four years ago, my twin sister, who also has RP, had the idea to start sharing our stories with family and friends via a blog. And since I love writing and really wanted an outlet to share my journey and share our stories together, I agreed and we started Double Vision Blog. This kind of ended up being our coming out, you could say. And we went from never really even talking about vision loss with each other to ultimately encouraging complete strangers in their same struggles with vision loss. Sharing our stories has really helped connect us with some incredible people who share really similar struggles. And it's really taken the weight off of something that used to feel really heavy to me. Uh, one of my favorite things is reading and sharing blind moment stories. Like this one time when I positioned myself at the bottom of a water slide at a public pool and I was ready to catch my friend's five-year-old son but instead, I caught someone else's son, who happened to be 15 years old. Sharing my journey ultimately led me to more fully come out, first with my cane and more recently with my guide dog, Roja. It's been a lot of work training with her and just learning to trust each other as we work on becoming what those in the field term a well-integrated team. Um, and even though we've only been together for a couple months, she's already giving me this gift of just gliding through life. I can now walk at this fast, confident pace that I've always wanted to move about this world in. Before Double Vision Blog, I really thought that my fight was against blindness, and even though I'd still love for there to be a cure, I realized that I was fighting the wrong battle. My fight was against shame. And I finally feel like I'm winning.
For years and years, I thought that not being defined by something meant that you needed to stuff it away or ignore it. And I've come to understand that it's really when we embrace those parts of ourselves that we've always seen as flaws, that they actually lose power over us. Our culture has a certain image of blindness, and it's not always a very complimentary one. I think um, in the media, film, really carry this image of weak people in need. But we are not weak. We are strong. We are capable. We do not have to be ashamed. We are not vulnerable in the sense of weak people in need, but we can be vulnerable in the way that we open ourselves up to being seen and to living active, wholehearted lives.